and and I suppose um, Harzing is is synonymous with that that uh, journal quality list. And I think you you know you were uh, some of the work was seminal in, in that regard. We have the the ABS or this CABS list and so on and so forth now. Um, so you mentioned a little bit there that it came out of a need. Could you talk a little bit maybe yeah. more about the genesis of the journal quality list and and you know what you were most proud of in doing that because that was very very innovative in, in many ways um back at the time that you, you you brought it out yeah back at the time and it was last century that sounds ancient ancient now um <laughs> yeah it, it was um it was in my first permanent full-time academic job at the university of bradford in the north of england um and um I was an early career researcher. Um, I was member of the research committee as the early career representative. Um, and I discovered that the business school at the time evaluated academics uh, using a very old and ironically Dutch journal ranking. And they ranked the journals from A to D with A being the highest, D being the lowest. Now this list like, um, the fields uh, at the time in the Netherlands was very much dominated by economics. So business journals were ranking very low, all business journals, but international business journals even more so. The top journal in my field that every international business scholar wants to publish in, Journal of International Business Study, it was ranked C, so one but lowest. The second ranked journal in the field of international business, uh, Management International Review, was ranked D, so the lowest rank in the list. Other journals weren't even included in the list. So it was soon very clear to me that I was going to have a hard time being promoted at that university. So I volunteered to collect journal rankings from other universities um, to hopefully, I thought, substantiate my argument that we really needed to adjust our ranking. And I'm happy to say we did in the end. But I spent an awful lot of time doing this, creating a full spreadsheet with all of the rankings that I uh, collected. And I thought, well, now I have this spreadsheet and it has helped me. So why not see whether it can help others too? So I, I had just created my own website. So I uploaded the list and I called it the journal quality list um, on my website. And um, it's now 23 years later. It's in its 69th edition. I bring out new editions in, in the early days, maybe three or four times a year. Uh, now, maybe once or twice a year with 10 different uh, rankings included. And it still gets plenty of, of, of visits, about 40 to 45,000 page visits a year. But what is important to realize in this discussion on, on inclusion is that the whole idea of the, the journal quality list was diversity. So not to create one list to rule them all, like we now have the ABS list, but rather to provide a variety of rankings from different countries so that different academics could simply use the ranking that suited them best. 